Whether you're gaming with your hometown friends or hanging out with strangers who share similar interests, Discord is the place to go for chatting online. Built from the ground up for gaming, Discord is an all-in-one messaging app, perfect for chatting, audio and voice calls, meeting new people on servers, and above all else, communicating while gaming. As an online platform, it was only a matter of time before Discord expanded into live streaming and screen sharing, and Discord Go Live is exactly that. This feature allows users to stream gaming sessions or anything else on their PC to friends active in the same channel, so that everyone can bond together while watching someone dominate in competitive action. If you're ready to jump into the world of screen sharing with Go Live, you'll need to start by making sure you're in a voice channel on your server. If you aren't already in a voice channel, you won't be able to use Discord's Go Live feature. Once you're active in a voice channel, look for the status panel near the bottom left corner to find the Go Live streaming icon, which looks like a little computer monitor with a reply symbol. Click it, and a new window will open on your PC. In this new window, select the application you want to share with the channel, or select your entire screen to share to the members of your voice channel instead. If you have multiple screens, you can select exactly the screen you want to share under the Screens tab. When you've decided on your settings, hit Go Live to start sharing. Don't worry if you've selected the wrong application. To change your active application or screen, click on the Go Live icon again in the bottom left corner, then select Change Screen. There are three important things to keep in mind about Discord's screen sharing feature. First, Discord has temporarily increased the viewing limit from 10 to 50 people, though this will eventually decrease. Second, only the Discord app on Windows 10 can share audio through the Go Live feature, so if you're on a Mac or Linux computer, you won't be able to hear audio from your desktop. Finally, the ability to go live in a Discord channel is a permission granted to roles by the admin of each server, so if you can't go live, you may not have the permission needed. If you liked this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Discord and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.